Welcome back to the Washington State Dynasty and welcome to the fourth Apple Cup of my dynasty as we are at home for senior day against Washington. This will be a very interesting matchup as Washington has struggled this year. You can see they are 4-7 and seven overall and only 2-6 and six in conference. Stanford has already finished their entire schedule. If Oregon were to win today though, they would clinch the Pac-12 North title. And if we were to win and Oregon lose, then we would end up with a three-way tie. And if that happens, I'm not really sure who would go to the championship. Jamal Morrow gets the carry. He will go to the outside and pick up four yards. Nearing 1,000 yards on the season, a play action to River Craycraft as Luke Falk runs backwards and ends up as a loss of 10, a poor decision to try and get away from the defenders. Luke Falk on third and 16, a throw to Wiley, he's got some room, past the 50 and caught from behind after a gain of 31, a huge play by the speedster from Ohio. Luke Falk to the air once more on a corner route for Steve Stewart and the underutilized tight end with a big catch. Now we'll go back to the ground game. Jamal Morrow gets it and he's brought down after a gain of three yards. Not much running room there. Third and nine, spreading the field with a five wide set. Robert Lundy with the catch, his eighth catch on the season. Now over 220 yards on the year. Five wide set, lob to the end zone. It's caught by River Craycraft. Perfect throw and catch from Craycraft and Luke Falk and we've got an early seven to nothing lead. Number six, Marshall, finally gets handed its second loss. We saw them almost lose last week or a couple weeks ago, and they finally lose the game to Rice. Play action for Williams. He'll try and take off. He's a very strong runner and also a very good passer, 20 touchdowns and 8 interceptions. Quick screen pass to the outside for Pettis. He's got it, and he's got a gain of 4, so 3rd and 3 upcoming. A 4 wide set. They'll go to the ground game for Coleman. He's got some room, powering through it, a fender, and he picks up 12 yards. Trips left on first down for Washington. Williams to the air, he dumps it down to Blakely. He's got nine yards just shy of the first down. Second and one, sticking with spreading the field. Now Coleman, a dart across the middle for Horn. He has a big gain of around 20 brought down by Greg Hoyd. Four man front, a screen pass to the outside for Brown, he breaks a tackle but our defense gets there quickly, only a gain of one. Spread of the field, they're keeping this four wide set, testing our depth at corner and defensive back is LeVon Coleman on the dump down as the Huskies are now deep in Cougar territory, Williams will take off and run. He's past the 10 and he's inside of the 5 yard line, a gain of 12 so goal to go situation upcoming. On second and goal, Birch is in the backfield and he'll lose three yards. Big play by Peyton Pleur playing his final home game. Troy Williams setting up a screen pass for Fields and Mata Alpha stops him shy of the gold line. A gain of five, fourth and goal from the inches line. Williams will drop back and he goes down a loss of six. He is sacked, turnover on downs. Jamal Morrow in motion. The throw will go to him. He's got the first down, and we're now out of the shadow of our own goal post. Quads to the left. We'll go with another screen pass, this time to Morrow. He's into the open field, past the 40 to the 58, gain of 33. Could not break it all the way, though. First and 10. Luke Falk hit as he throws. The ball's bouncing around, nearly intercepted. Instead, it's second and 10. We'll go back to the ground game for Morrow. He runs over to the defender, and he's got five yards, third down upcoming. A twin tight end set on third down. A dump down to the flats for Stewart. He runs over defender to the 35 yard line on the gain of nine. Three wide set on second down near the end of the first quarter as Craycraft has the pass. Another catch for the senior wide receiver playing his final home game. And we're now inside of the 15 yard line. Second and 10. Jamal Morrow has it east to the five. A very good drive so far. Our offense is playing very well. Luke Falk to the air, he'll scramble out to his right, he will take off, throw it back across his body, and will end up losing 7 yards on the final play of the first quarter, but we do tack on the field goal. Coleman gets the carry to the outside, shy of the first down line, but picks up 8 yards. A 3 man front, as the give goes to Pettis on the sweep, he's got 6 yards and another Washington first down. Pettis in motion, nope, fake as Williams will keep it, and he breaks the tackle, still going, he stiff arms Suleiman Hamid, what a run by Troy Williams, he's a very good runner. 
Washington State will bring the blitz, and down goes Williams off the edge. It's Brian Wiley, another sack for the outside linebacker. A screen pass to the outside for Sebastian LaRue. He is nowhere to go, maybe a gain of two. Third down and eight. We'll set up a screen pass for Jamal Morrow. He has nowhere to go. Met immediately and brought down after a loss of four. Punting from his own end zone is Jordan Descalo. A deep kick. What a booming punt as Hale will take it from his 35-yard line. Trucks the defender. Now cutting to the outside. Gets a good block. And he's caught from behind by Raymond Barber. That might have gone all the way. Second and seven for Coleman. He gets it. Bounces. It. Nice stiff arm as he picks up six yards just shy of the first down. Their running game and passing game have been very balanced so far, doing a nice job of taking advantage of our defense. We'll bring five as Coleman gets the carry. Stiff arm and fights through a tackler. He picks up seven yards. He's averaging a nice 5.6 yards per carry. Williams to the flat and along the sideline for Martinez. Barely gets a foot in bounds, but he does pick up a first down. Williams will take off, and he is somehow sacked, maybe with one arm. What a play by Jesse Shaw, his 11th sack on the season. Williams will take off to his right. He's got some room. He's got the first down inside of the five-yard line. Under center, Washington has a great chance to put their points on the board, and they will a touchdown by Troy Williams. Now a three-point game pending the field goal. We'll take back over on offense. A throw on the swing pass to River Craycraft trying to get outside and he picks up around 4 or 5 yards. A nice way to start off the drive though. Split shotgun for Luke Falk as he is hit as he throws. Gets it to Jamal Morrow and he's shy of the first down line. It is now third and inches. The give will go to Morrow. He bounces it outside, cuts it back and he barely gets it. Might have gone behind the line at one point but did get back ahead of it. Split shotgun give goes to Burgess, and the ball comes out. He went aerial, and Baker has it. We'll get a second look at that. That was a crazy play. Looked like a very good game for Avery Burgess, but he just flips, and the ball flies out of his hands right into a Washington defender's hands. One minute to go in the second quarter as Troy Williams will go to the air. A chance to take the lead on this drive, or at least tie it up, as Fred Brown has it for seven yards. Inside of field goal range. So at worst, Washington should come away with this with a field goal. Daryl Daniels, the talented tight end, gets it for six yards, though. A give goes to Coleman. He cuts it back. He's got eight yards. Clock will continue to run Washington down to one timeout. Third and two for Williams. He takes off to the right. No one is home. He's into the end zone. And Washington now with another touchdown. And they'll have a four-point lead entering halftime. We would not be aggressive. So going into halftime with a four-point deficit did not play well to end the half. We need to play better in the second half. Got to establish a running game. Only 19 yards in the first half. But did throw the ball very well. So at least we're doing that well. A quick screen to the outside for Martinez. He breaks a tackle. And he's pushed out of bounds by Suleiman Hamid after a gain of 12. First and 10 under center is Williams. A dump down to Daniels, and the normally sure-handed Daniels drops the pass. Williams will go to the air to the outside in a tight window for Mickey Horn as he picks up three yards, third down upcoming. The Cougs will bring the blitz off the left side, and they'll throw it right where the corners were, and they vacated it, and Mickey Horn has a gain of 12. Two down linemen along with two linebackers as the throw to Pettis goes, and he's got a good gain of 15. Second and 10 from the shotgun trips to the left for Williams. He'll throw that way and he's got his man Allen inside of the 20 yard line. Our defense has got to get a stand as the Huskies are now in the red zone. Running the read option with Williams. He's got some room up the middle and he's got the first down a gain of 11. Second and goal. Four down linemen. Williams will go to the air. He will take off and he's into the end zone for the third time today. No contain on the quarterback in Washington now has a two-score lead. They've taken the yardage advantage also. Luke Falk on the play action to the outside, and it's intercepted by Fontenot, intended for Sebastian LaRue, so Washington has great field position once more. And the I formation, give goes to Coleman. He is a powerful runner, but he is put down hard after a gain of six. Washington going no huddle. Give goes to Coleman. He will spin forward to the 20-yard line on a gain of nine. 
Now on the offset, I give goes to Coleman. Sticking with the ground game, it's worked very well on this drive. Levon Coleman with another big gain over 100 yards on the day. First and goal. Williams, we keep contained, but Bowling has it. Knees brought down to the one yard line. A big hit. We've already got a stop down here once, but we can't get it this time as Coleman gets another touchdown on the ground. And just like that, we are now down by three scores. We do have a studio update. Number one, undefeated Alabama. Down big already to Auburn. That would be a big upset and really shake up the national championship race. Jamal Morrow is back to return the kick. He has been explosive all year. We need a big play from our senior on senior day as he will bounce it outside. He's got a lot of green ahead of him. He's past the 50 yard line out of bounds inside of Huskies territory and that will give us great field position to open the drive. Luke Falk throws down the seam. He's got Craycraft inside of the 15 yard line a gain of 30. He threw it just as the pressure was getting there. Luke Falk to the air. A dump down to Morrow. He's caught from behind a gain of five. So second and five upcoming. We'll now give it to Morrow once again. He cuts it back. And he is got the first down. Favorable spot for the Cougars. As on first and goal, we will go to the air. Four wide set. And Luke Falk is hit down hard. He ran right into the defensive end. And he is sacked once more on the season. Third and goal. We'll go to the ground game. Jamal Morrow can't get in. So fourth and goal from the inches line. We'll go for it from the pistol. Twin tight end. And Morrow's into the end zone. As 11 touchdown on the season on the ground. And just like that, Jamal Morrow has put us back in this game all by himself. But we have got to slow down this Washington offense. You can see four straight touchdowns. We have to do better than that. Only two down linemen will only bring three rushers as the give outside to Birch. And the running back has 10 yards. Might have got the first down, but they'll rule him short. Now, keeping it on the read option is Williams. He's got room to the outside. He's got some blocks, and he's two midfield, a gain of 15. First and 10. Washington State will bring a blitz, but the throw to Daniels. He's got some room, and he's got a first down. The blitz does not pay off. For Wazoo, man in motion is Daniels. Now really going up tempo. Williams will take off. He's got some room and he has the first down. Now from the pistol, a three wide set. Williams drops back. He tries to run. The ball is out, but it's recovered by the offensive lineman forced by Mo Tapa. So Washington will attempt the long field goal. The kick is away and he buries it. What a kick. And it's now a 14 point game. We need a touchdown on this drive as we will pitch it to the outside for Wiley. He trucks a defender past the 40-yard line. A gain of six as that's Wiley's first carry on the season. Luke Falk to the air. He's got Craycraft, the senior wide receiver, with a big connection with the senior quarterback. And that will almost take us into the fourth quarter, last play of the third, as we'll take a shot downfield. A perfect throw and catch to Sebastian LaRue. He's to the 20-yard line. Second and eight. Our offense is picking it up. Burgess, he's shy of the goal line. Another goal to go situation from the inches line. Burgess gets the carry. And once again, he can't break the plane. That's about as close as it gets. We have got to punch it in. Corey Washington in the game. He's in the end zone. It's now a one score game. That's Washington's fourth touchdown on the season. A four man front for the Cougar defense. Got to get a turnover here. That would be huge. Now Fred Brown gets the catch for nine yards. You would think Washington might want to run the clock a little bit, but they'll keep going. Hurry up. And a huge drop on third down. We'll get the ball back as Washington will not be aggressive and go for it that deep in their own territory. A five wide set. Throw to LaRue. He's got it inside of Husky territory on the gain of 23. Jamal Morrow is shaken up on that last drive, so Burgess gets another carry. And he's got five yards. A huge third down upcoming. Three wide set. A throw. And Wiley has it. He makes the man miss. He's into the end zone. A 38-yard touchdown. And that's a tie game. Wiley caught it. And then he hit that gear that very few players can match. And went all the way for the touchdown. Williams from the pocket. He goes down. He has sacked a loss of three. Our defense is starting to step it up. Williams will go to the air this time. Moving in the pocket, off his back foot, a dangerous throw. Four Cougar defenders in the area, but it almost was completed. So we will get the ball back after the punt. Luke Falk will take off. He's got three yards on the scramble. 
and a man is down. Luckily, it wasn't Luke Falk. You hate to see a player injured in a game like this, though. Second and seven. Burgess cuts it back. He's got the first down, a gain of eight, and he keeps the drive alive. Third and 12. Quads to the right. Luke Falk will go to the air. He's got Robert Lewis. A huge catch by the senior wide receiver. He comes up huge. Second and 10. And that's nearly intercepted by Jermaine Kelly. We're playing with fire right now. Almost Luke Falk's second interception on the day. Third and 10. As Burgess has it, he trucks the defender. Can't get enough for the first down on the draw play. So Victor McGill will come out for the field goal. He's 13 for 15 on the season. Make it 14 for 16. We've got the lead coming back from 18 points down. Still a lot of time for Washington. All they need is a field goal, but an errant throw by Troy Williams, who has struggled passing the ball today. Our defense has stepped up lately. A stop here would be huge, but Williams has a lot of room to run. He's hit hard, but hangs onto the ball. A big hit by Kevin Griffin. Second and five for Williams. Throw to the outside. He's got another first down. And that is a big play now inside of Cougars territory, getting close to field goal range. First and 10, throw to the outside for Horn, and he steps out of bounds after a gain of five. Second and five, a 3-3-5 look from Washington State. Throw to the outside for Horn again, and Washington is driving down the field right now. They will go with a quick screen to the outside for Robertson. He's got it, and he is met after a gain of six. Washington still has their three timeouts. Just over a minute to go on third and four. Throw to the end zone. It's intercepted by Kevin Griffin. A huge play by another senior. This time a senior corner. A first down will put this game away. Corey Washington has it. And he is got the first down. So third and nine. One more first down will do it. But Avery Burgess is stopped. Washington is out of timeout. So we can let this clock run down. 22 seconds for Washington. Williams will go to the air. It's caught by DeFar Daniels. What a catch. He has it. So now Washington will spike the ball. 14 seconds left. Closing in on field goal range. They probably got around the 30-yard line to be sure of a field goal. Williams will throw to the outside along the sideline for Mickey Horn. Nine seconds left. First and 10. Can they get in field goal range? A throw to the outside for Daniels. He cuts up field. Doesn't get out of bounds. So that should do it, and the clock will hit zero as Washington had no more timeouts. you got to be aware that you need to get out of bounds there. Daniels had played well all day, but your player of the game is Luke Falk. We have finally beaten the Washington Huskies. Luke Falk with an incredible final game at Martin Stadium, 308 yards and two touchdowns. Did throw the one interception, though. Jamal Morrow had an okay game. He did get hurt at that one point. Only 3.2 yards per carry, but did have a touchdown and a couple of nice runs. Avery Burgess played all right in relief. River Craycraft had a good game in his senior day performance. Our defense really stepped it up towards the end of the game, forcing turnovers and getting pressure on Troy Williams. We had four sacks on the day. One interception almost sealed it, but we did punt it back to them. So we will go ahead and head into bowl season. We were not able to make it into the conference championship. Oregon won their game. So your Heisman winner is Craig Lee from UCLA. Their running back, he had a great year. 18 touchdowns on the ground, four touchdowns as a receiver. And our bowl matchup is against the Baylor Bears, 7-5. So they've fallen off a little bit as we are now up to number 15 in the nation at 9-3. Another commitment, a Juco transfer. As Marcus Stanford, a speed back, he might be able to replace Jamal Morrow when he leaves as a very talented guy who can get into the open space and make big plays. Now, Terry Davis, Benjamin Wood, and Chris Fuller, our final three targets, all four-star prospects, all very talented, and they're all from the South, so we're starting to expand our recruiting range a little bit and trying to get a little more nationwide in our recruits. Right now, we have the number eight overall recruiting class. That's very good. We slowly built up our recruiting powers and now have a chance for a very strong one for this year. 12 sacks for Jesse Shaw on the season. Four interceptions for Jeff Rar. Charleston White with three interceptions on the season. Luke Falk closing in on 9,000 yards passing in his career. 63 touchdowns, 42 interceptions. A good career. Jamal Morrow with 3,300 rushing yards, 32 touchdowns. He does have a chance to break the school record for rushing touchdowns in a career if he were to get two more. River Craycraft and Sebastian LaRue both will be playing their final game in our bowl game. And both have had very nice careers. 
But now we will look forward to our game against Baylor. We have a chance for another double digit win season. It would also be our third straight bowl win and second straight 10 win season. It would be a big win and a big victory for this program. But this is a talented Baylor roster, especially on offense. Players like KD Cannon, Davion Hall, Terrence Williams. They also have Chris Johnson, who is injured. He's probable for the game. And it definitely looks like he will play a very deep receiving core for Baylor. But they have struggled much more on offense than you would normally expect. Maybe due to us stealing their offensive coordinator in the last offseason. But I hope you did enjoy. We finally beat Washington. If you did, please leave a like down below. Leave your comments on our matchup against Baylor and what you think the keys to that game are. I will see you for the Holiday Bowl. Because I'm out.